This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. Continuing on with our hydraulic series, today we're going to be calculating the pump discharge pressure for a relay operation. We're going to add one thing on top of what we've already been done in previous training minutes. Instead of a single line from engine to engine in this relay, we're going to do a split line. So instead of one single discharge going to one single intake from engine one to engine two, we're going to have two lines in this relay. And for this calculation, we're going to keep the same length and the same size lines in that split leg. So we're at a second line down here. And then we're going to work with three inch hose as our baseline. So we'll say there's two three inch hoses going from engine one to engine two. And for purposes of uh, easy math here, we're going to say they're 500 feet long. So there's two 500 foot lengths of three inch hose going from engine one to engine two in our relay. As always in uh, calculating our pump discharge pressure, you always want to identify and account for those four elements. So right away the easy ones, we know in this example there are no devices. I don't see anything in there, no wires, no siamese, no anything. I also don't have any elevation changes, so we're not going up or down to engine, from engine one to engine two. So we'll go ahead and account for those just to remember that we account for them. So zero, zero. The other element that we know we want to always account for in our relay is to give the driver at the other end of that relay from pump to pump, that other pump, you want to give that driver a residual pressure to work with so that they always have a pressure on top of what they're flowing. So we always put in a residual pressure of 50 pounds. So we'll go ahead and account for that here. Now, the next thing that we'll figure out here, and again, we're staying in the realm of three inch hose, and then we're dealing with flow, size, and length. So the size is accounted for with three inch hose. The flow, we're going to say that we're flowing 800 gallons a minute, just as a nice total round number. So in this closed system here, from this pump through these two lines to that pump, there's 800 gallons a minute flowing. So what we do as driver operators is if we know we have two identical hose lengths going from engine to engine, same size, same length, then we split this number. And we're going to calculate each of those discharges on half that flow. So the total flow at the end is 800 gallons a minute. In each of these hose lines, we're going to try to achieve 400 gallons a minute. So we make a little note over here, 400 gallons a minute. And then just in practicality, doing a split relay, again, at engine one over here, two of our discharges are going to be flowing to two of that engine's intakes. So each of those, we're going to calculate for half of that flow, and then both of them we would set at the same pressure to give them that pressure and flow at the end. So 400 gallons a minute is the number that we're going to work with for our calculations. So flow size and length, the flow is 400 gallons a minute. I'm going to come up here for 400 gallons a minute. The very first step, dealing with our hand method, we divide that by 100 or essentially knock off those two zeros. That gives me four. And then in our memory jogger here, our hand method, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 gallons a minute. We go to 4, 400 gallons a minute. And our memory jogger is the multiplication sign here at the base of our palm. That's the Q squared. We times this number by itself. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 400 gallons a minute. 4 times 4 will give me 16. So what that tells me is that in each 100-foot section, of this three inch hose that we're trying to push 400 gallons a minute through, there is approximately 16 pounds of friction loss. Now, in a previous training minute, we addressed going to different hose sizes. If we had a four inch hose or five inch hose or whatever size hose, we would do a conversion factor here to take that friction loss number and change it to the appropriate hose size. We're staying within the realm of three inch hose here, 
So we're going to keep that number. So that's per 100 foot section. So we've addressed the flow, we've addressed the size. Now we need to address the length. The total length from engine to engine, both hose legs are the same. So it's 500 feet. So I come over here in our length. We're going to put 500 there. We're going to divide that by 100. Knock off those two zeros. That gives me five. So we know that each 100 foot section from discharge to intake has 16 pounds of friction loss to get 400 gallons a minute through it. We're going to multiply that times the number of 100 foot sections, or five. That's going to give us 80. So we have 80 pounds of friction loss in each of those two hose legs trying to get 400 gallons a minute through to the end. So we take that 80, plug it up here in our friction loss. In calculating the pump discharge pressure, we've accounted for all four elements. There's no head pressure, there's no devices. Our friction loss in each line is 80 pounds. And then the residual pressure at the end for the other pump, we're going to give them 50. So our total pump discharge pressure from engine one to engine two on each of those lines is going to be 130 pounds. And as a driver operator, again, just as a matter of practicality, we have special effects or pump panel here, I would set two discharges, whichever they were, from my engine to engine two both we set at 130 pounds. And that's giving me, or giving them, 400 gallons a minute through each line for a total at the end of 800 gallons a minute. And whatever total flow you were trying to achieve, whatever hose size, as long as they were equal size and equal length, you would split the gallon per minute between the two and make your calculations based on one, and then each of the discharges would get that pressure, okay? And again, if we did a conversion to a different hose size, that number would fall in there. So in doing that, let's keep the same example, and then we'll convert it from 3-inch hose to 4-inch hose. So instead of 3-inch hose, we'll say that it is 500 feet of 4-inch hose. The flow will change as well. We'll keep the length the same. So I'll put that back in here in a second. We're not going to add any devices or head pressure, so we'll keep the zeros up there to make sure we account for those. We know our friction loss will change. And we know that we're going to keep that residual pressure at the end for that second pump. So four inch hose this time. Our conversion factor for four inch hose, we're going to take Q squared, divide that by five, now to give us the four inch hose number. So over here, that one additional step, we'll make a note of, we're going from three inch hose to four inch hose. By dividing by five. So again, we have the same length of hose. We'll keep that, keep it simple. We'll change the flow. Uh, we're gonna say that it is a thousand gallons a minute. And again, we have two four inch hose lays that are equal length, they're the same size hose. So we take the thousand gallons a minute and then we split that in half. So each of those discharges, each of those lines is going to be supplying 500 gallons a minute. And at the end of it, a total gallon per minute to the other pumper of a thousand. So flow size and length, the flow, we're trying to achieve 500 gallons a minute on each line, we'll plug that in up here. The very first step, we divide that by 100, or essentially knock off those two zeros. That gives us five. And then that is the baseline of our hand method with the Q squared. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Memory diagram, multiplication sign, five times five. That tells me that for 500 gallons a minute, through a 100 foot section of three inch hose, is gonna be approximately 25 pounds of friction loss, okay? We're going to take this number and convert it to 4 inch hose by dividing by 5. So 25 divided by 5 is going to give me 5. Now that means that for every 100 foot of 4 inch hose flowing 500 gallons a minute, instead of 25 pounds of friction loss, there's only 5. 
the length of hose is the same. There's 500 feet, so we plug in 500 up here. We divide that by 100, or essentially knock off those zeros. Five 100 foot sections with five pounds of friction loss each. Multiply those two together. Our friction loss from engine one to engine two in the hose lines is 25 pounds total. So 25 comes up here to our friction loss. And then we add all of these elements up to get our total pump discharge pressure on each, dis each discharge. So zero for the head pressure, zero for devices, 25 pounds for friction loss, plus 50 pounds residual pressure to the other pump, total pump discharge pressure of 75 pounds. And again, that would be on two separate discharges, each giving that other pump for 500 gallons a minute for a total flow that we're giving them of 1,000 gallons a minute. We'll do one more example. And we're going to change the size of the hose, and we'll go to 5-inch hose. And we'll keep the same length and the same flow. We're just going to change the hose size here. So if we go from 4 inch hose to 5 inch hose, our friction loss is going to drop significantly in this relay. The length is the same, so the calculation for that will leave in place. They got the 25, but that number is going to change. And then we're going to leave this here because our 3 inch starting point for that 500 gallons a minute that we're using is still going to be 25. The conversion is going to change uh, for the end. So instead of going to 4 inch hose, where we divide it by 5, we're going to go to 5 inch hose, where we divide by 15. So our initial hand method, 500 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Memory jogger with the multiplication sign in the palm, 5 times 5. That tells me that for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose that we're trying to move 500 gallons a minute through, there's approximately 25 pounds of friction loss. To convert from 3 inch hose to 5 inch hose, we're going to take that number, convert it, and divide it by 15. Fix my chart up here. Not the little 4 inch anymore, the little 5 inch. So 25 divided by 15 is almost 2. So that's the number we would use on the fire ground, user-friendly hydraulics, 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 pounds of friction loss per 100 feet of 5 inch, so 500 gallons a minute. Total sections is 5. So 5 times 2, multiply those two together. The total friction loss between engine 1 and engine 2 with 500 feet, or excuse me, 500 gallons a minute through 500 feet of 5 inch is 10. So our friction loss up here from 4 inch hose it was 25 to 5 inch hose it's only 10. Add those two together, no devices, no head pressure. Total friction loss is 60. The last remaining example we'll do uh, would be if we had an in-between number just to show you that. And we'll keep everything else the same with the exception of that. So if we had an in-between number for our flow, uh, 650 gallons a minute, 750 gallons a minute, uh, something along those lines, that would require us to, instead of just dividing by 100, just to cross multiply. So we'll change this and just do a quick example with that. The length will keep the same, and then we will come up with a number here that requires us to make that adjustment. So if our total flow uh, was 1,500 gallons a minute. That's, that's a high number, but let's, let's work with it, just for math. If we were trying to get that through that hose, uh, we would divide that in half, and that would give us the each line trying to get 750 gallons a minute. So that's the number we'll use for our gallon per minute here. Flow size and length. We know we're going to deal with five inch hose, that's a size. We know the length is 500, we've already addressed that, and then we're going to convert for the flow. So 750 gallons a minute, 600, 700. We know that 750 falls between 7 and 8, so 6, 7, 8. We go between those two fingers, 7 times 8, which would give us 56. So 750 gallons a minute. We don't simply divide by 100, but we cross multiply. 
7 times 8 gives us 56. And then we come back over here. That's the 3 inch hose number, 56. We convert to the 5 inch hose number. We're going to divide 56 by 15. That's going to be almost 4, so we'll, we'll make it 4. So 4 pounds of friction loss per 100 foot section of 5 inch with 750 gallons a minute going through it. And then there's 5 sections of it, 500 feet. 500 divided by 100, knock off those two zeros, 5. Multiply the total sections, number of sections, by the friction loss per section, which gives us 20. 5 times 4. And then 20, we plug into our friction loss up here. So 50 plus 20 would give us 70. So in that example with a uh, in-between flow of 750, we've got two lines that are 500 feet long. We're trying to achieve 1,500 gallons a minute in each line. We split the flow between the two same size, same length lines, 750 each. We made our calculations for five inch hose and came up with a total friction loss from engine one to engine two of 70 pounds with a total pump discharge pressure with the friction loss and the residual pressure at the end. That's a quick down and dirty review of relay operations, calculating the pump discharge pressure for a split lay and a relay. Same size, same uh, length. That's today's training minute. Thank you.